What is up, Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan, and we are checking back in from the Universal Orlando Resort for yet another Jurassic World Velocicoaster construction update, and we're hoping for some testing today. Let's go! Doesn't appear too much is going on at the rumored Universal Studio store. Looks to be just about the same, except we have some lights on the outside of the wall here now. Well, I take it back. It looks like we have some new stuff on the outside of the building right here. There's a couple more colored pieces on this side of the building. Hello again, Lighthouse. It's currently somewhere in the high 80s. A little bit busy for a Monday. It's President's Day. Ticket windows over there are a little bit busier than normal. Turnstiles on the right are closed. Ones on the left open and a little bit of a wait but we'll be right in yep like usual not much of a wait to get through temperature check security or through the front entrance we're on our way alrighty guys let's check out the wait times park is open until 8 p.m today and we can see one fish two fish five minutes deadly do rights closed jurassic park river adventure at 100 minutes kong right now at 65 minutes p flyers at 65 minutes fly of the hippograph also 65 spider-man was 75 seuss trolley is 35 Hogwarts Express is 55. We can see right there, Hulk, it's 60 minutes. Yeah, it's busy today. And there's the Jurassic World Velocicoaster. I'm not seeing too much action-wise on the site, but hopefully we'll see some runs soon. I said before, get off my snooch. Another trip to Universal, and we can't forget about our Velocifishies. Hi, guys. Looks like most of the scaffolding around Popeyes is down. There's still a little bit over by the front entrance area. Hagrid's is currently running on a virtual queue, and that is a heck of a wait. The ongoing saga for Three Broom Six Patio continues as uh, stuff has been removed.
was running today. And it appears these lights are now on. Train lights are on. And look at that, the boosters on the back are also on. Smoking section next to Jurassic Park River Adventures still has walls up. Dudley's is open now, but we'll be going down very soon for a refurbishment. Popeyes is still down for its refurbishment, but should be coming back at the end of the month. That's right, the entrance for the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man still under construction. Entrance just around that way. So we're doing some lighting tests for the bypass bridge. They were on, and now they're off. Oh hey, look, it's the Osprey. See the lights on the bypass bridge? We're back on again testing. Well, it's been a little over an hour since our last test run, but we did just see a train go by. So hopefully, we'll see it again. The last one didn't have lights on for the train. Hopefully the next one will. Incredible Hulk. And in our last update, we showed you one of the water cannons was on. Well, still on. Only one of them. All right, train's going with the lights.
Well, testing has been very sporadic today. I showed up sometime after three and waited almost two hours for a test run. And then we saw probably over 20 within the span of an hour and a half. And then no test runs for over an hour. Then we saw three test runs without train lights, two with train lights, and as you can see, they're playing with some of the lighting around the area. So hopefully we'll see some more testing, but I'm gonna call it for today, guys. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for another Universal Orlando Resort Jurassic World Velocicoaster construction update. And it is so, so good to see it running again after a little hiatus. And we saw plenty of test runs today too with train lights. Boosters were also on. And then we had the waterfall and hopefully some other theming elements will be turned on soon. Of course, we're gonna have more updates from here. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.